So, um, yeah, we're setting at hang today. Serious Climbing Distribution have been nice enough to send us a set of the 360 asymmetric macro Ooh. range. I saw these a couple of years ago and I was like, that's what I want. Yeah. I want a set with them, especially yeah, yeah. this guy. This is one of the, whoa, oh. it's, it's so big. <laughs> I saw this that's, thing and I was like, that's, that's nearly as big as you. Incredible on slab. Like, yeah. the um, slab comp style boulder dream. It's so dream cool. Hole. It's like so big but so low profile. Look um, at the profile. I think it's 30 centimeters deep. So, the, the idea of this video is to show off how I, I would use these holds. I see two things when I look at these holds. One is like, footholds with lots of options so it's kind of confusing yeah um, you know sometimes when you set a boulder and you don't give them a foothold to start they have to choose where to smear on the wall yeah this is like one step up from that so they yeah. have to choose where to smear on this macro the first thing we're going to do is set compression boulder up the front yeah um, and just to help us get by we're going to use some flat hold and cheetah jibs that can be a centerpiece it'd be cool to try and use that in multiple ways hands and feet hands and feet and like rather than just use it as a hand once maybe use it three or four times yeah and then use it as a foot i think that's kind of cool a cool yeah. thing to do in setting That was pretty easy to set because yeah. of the wall angle and because of the holds provided. Just kind of simple compression. But it always um, ends up quite interesting and different. Of course. These, these kind of prowl boulders. Yeah, and it, it's like they're not knowing what what's going to happen because this thing might be nowhere near good enough. Yeah. So we're, we're going to have a climb and just do some minor tweaks, make it, make it a thing, make it a boulder. So today's episode is sponsored by Surfshark and Surfshark let you securely connect the internet from a virtual location, which can be anywhere in the world. I've been wanting to work with Surfshark again ever since we first did a sponsorship about three years ago. I actually enjoyed it so much that I ended up buying my own copy of Surfshark just because I use it all the time. The main thing that I use Surfshark for is um, to change my computer's location. Um, and why this is super duper helpful is because um, it allows you to access, say hello Wham, <laughs> location restricted content um, and it can also be super useful when checking the prices of rental cars or flights um, because if they have your cookies they can often just rev the prices each time you check. Yeah. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. So yeah, incognito mode, VPN on, check them prices probably get cheaper price. Something else I really like about Surfshark is that you can have as many devices at once as you want. There's no limit on the amount of devices you can have connected. So I have my computer, Annie's laptop on it, I've got my phone on it, all sorts connected to Surfshark. So if I do need to use it, I can just ping it on and all my web connection is secured. Click the link in the description and use the promo code BOBAT to receive 83% off and an extra three months for free. Um, and um, enjoy Jake root setting this, these boulders. Oh, <laughs> 
then... um, so as expected, it was really easy to set something cool with these holds, like straight off the bat. We're just doing a little, little mini tweak. We've got an issue now where uh, we've placed the tow hook and we've matched this big blob, um, but to take the tow out and continue, it's, it's too hard. You just barn door out. Now what Jake's going for is we're going to get the tow hook. We've moved that foot a bit closer so you, you get this like inside palm, set the right foot out, and then we're going to get a very slight squeeze on the erect. Yeah. And this is like very low profile, this thing. So we're going to squeeze that and hopefully bring ourselves around. And then maybe that'll get, allow us to access the, the edge. <laughs> what is that? Jake just pinched my bottom. Oh, nice. Look at you. Harassment in the yeah, workplace. That's a jug in comparison to these things. Hello. Oh. Help. Help. that Jake struggles with these days. Yeah. yeah. Well, get that and then <laughs> tight, tight, tight. Oh. It's hard. That's really hard. <laughs> it's hard move that. And the other key to setting is always have fun. Yeah. Yeah. Like this is sick. This is an experience. Yeah. And uh, if we can impart that experience on the customer, yeah. it's all good. I think this move is too hard for yeah. sure. I so agree probably. I was trying quite hard. Do we stick with that theme? Might just make the hold a bit better. Make that a bit better. Probably it was. It's quite a. It's quite a cool move, I think. Yeah, I agree. And you have to, like, even if that's a little bit better, you're still gonna have to really work this right hand. Yeah. yeah. And we're using this thing in like a bajillion different ways now, which is fun because you go one, two, three, four, five, and then you like come down to it like an undercut to get the opposition. It's just like we've awesome. planned. I know. It's like we're good at our job. Almost. Right then, Tweedledum and Tweedledee, what are we at? Folder complete. Tweakle. Tweakle one and Tweakle two. The Tweakle. <laughs> the Tweakle. <laughs> the Tweakle, the Tweakle. That's a good tweakle one. Tweakle tart, right? you know what I mean? So we've tweaked it into submission now. Yeah. It's a compression boulder. It's not completely trivial. It's quite difficult. You've got to do, do some bits. Yeah, bits and bobs. I love it. It's really good. So we've got, we've got a dippy on the drum roll. Love this. <laughs> all 360 degrees of the hold. It's a very good boulder. Yeah, get the toe hook and then lean into it. Baggy, baggy, baggy. Yeah. Come on. Inside palm. Can you bump the toe? Yes. Delicate. Delicante. Very nice, Joe. Bang. Nice, isn't it? Well done, boys. Good work. Sweet. It is good. So we'll see you in seven days' time. Seven days later. Does Jake look I seven teleported. days more haggard? Comment below. Probably. My beard's <laughs> going. I'm wearing the same outfit apart from the t-shirt. Nice. Oh, so you changed one item of clothing in seven days? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's good. Boxes are the same. This week we're setting, um, in my opinion, where these holds come into their own. We're setting like a 
comp style slab. I've been dreaming of since I saw this hold for the first time. I've wanted to just do like a really obvious wind up move to a, like a stable position that seems a bit unfathomable. So I'll have like a, a jib that you don't know how to use. Okay, so you Let's like, see. You like, like the, run onto the thing and then maybe catch a thumb catch or something to stop yeah, you? Or? I, I kind of want to go past the target hold and yeah. then stop. Oh, you nearly, you nearly stopped. Very nearly. Very nearly. Very nearly, Jimmy. Oh, ice skating. Oh, that was close. Really good. Hey. Oh yeah. I just need to. You understand? Straighten that arm. Yeah. 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 Very nice. How's that? It feels amazing. So that's basically what I wanted in a nutshell. Yeah, I'm just concerned if I can do it, it's not hard enough. Oh yeah. We'll make so it, now make we'll just it a little make bit it. harder. We'll but but harder. the idea works really well. Yo! Hyper droppable, I love it. So that took us just five minutes. No, no problem at all. Yeah, with barely, uh, <laughs> any, barely any changes there. Uh, it goes to show that if you have an idea, then you can execute it pretty quickly. If, and if you don't have an idea, and you try it to takes, work out as you go, it takes yeah. a little while. So the first thing, sit like mega wind over the largest asymmetric ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like you, res you drive by this thing and receive it on the other side with your foot. Uh-huh. Oh, that's Pick up the phenomenal. Receiver. I've been waiting to do that for so long. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then the top's like a, like a really tenuous palm and foot. And you have to go up to a quite poor thumb. Yeah. I think that it's thing looks really, that move looks really hard to me. Good, good comp boulder, um, which was the intention. Man, I'd love to set this in a comp. So, no. do, you want, do you want it in a wanna? Yeah, that's what we need. She. All right, truth, I, I think I can definitely do the first move. I definitely can't do the second move. I feel like move. I'm taking a bit of my chin off. It's easy for you, dude. Yo! Nice. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Oh, you had that. It's mad. If you don't get the palm right... It's a good boulder. Do you think it's hard enough? Yeah. <laughs> exactly what I wanted. Nice. Good job, man. That is such a cool move. So there you go. That was setting with the 360 asymmetric balls. For sure, some of my new favorite holds. So thank you very much again to Serious Climbing Distribution for making that happen. 
if you enjoyed it and you like, cause like to see us setting, let us know, put it in the comments. Uh, leave a like, leave a subscribe, and uh, check the link in description or we'll put the 360 website so you can check out the full range. Yeah, perfect. And you can um, put some on your 45 degree board at home. <laughs> and then just cover them in chips. <laughs>